Harry Knox. It says, Praise the Lord Jesus, Apostle Jennings and Saints. I'm writing this letter to let you know that I was a homosexual. I was molested when I was six years old, was corrupted my youth life, and was living in the way of abomination and on my way to hell, this person says. I would always receive, I would always receive counseling and the churches helped, but it just would not work. I knew in my heart that it was wrong, as a result would not even want to go to church because of the fear I had that God would kindle his wrath on me in his presence, and also due to the lust in my heart which was ruled by my flesh. But by the grace of Jesus, I can now say that God has opened my eyes and heart fully to realize that the life I was in is of the devil and I am no longer practicing this abomination. Wonderful. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. I watch your program and I can say that God is truly using you. I was watching the debate you had with Harry Knox. Yeah, dirty, filthy, rotten Harry. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I can testify that I see how foolish I was when I tried to justify this abominable, abominable lifestyle. No, hold that. Huh? You know, I was criticized by many television viewers when they saw the discussion between me and Harry. Mm -hmm. Some say he, I, I should not have let him in the pulpit. Mm. Yes, but this man's eyes came open yeah. as a result of that. Right. Amen. So many viewers criticized me and did not understand why would I let him in the pulpit. Yeah. I want the world to see the folly yeah. of homosexuality. That's right. And I wanted the whole world to see how that spirit of the devil Man. think right. Man. and hear his carnal reasoning. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Do you hear what this writer said when he looked at the message? Uh -huh. Listen. I, was, I watched your program and can say that God is truly using you. I was watching the debate you had with Harry Knox and I can testify that I see how foolish I was. Through him seeing that, it made him see how foolish he was. Yeah. When I tried to justify this abominable lifestyle mm -hmm. with my opinions, mm -hmm. now we see why God chose Paul, because he knew the condition that his people would be facing. Yeah. Continue to hit the homosexual topic, my brother. With the help of God, I will annihilate it in <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. 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 And there's homosexuals that log on to the telecast. Yeah. Uh, there's one homosexual, he always got comments on YouTube when he see a message <laughs> that uh, me preaching against homosexuality. Mm -hmm. He always used obscene gestures and cuss me out and call me all kind of names. Mm -hmm. But yet you can see he keep logging on. Uh -huh. That's it. Some say I'm homophobic. <laughs> Ain't nothing homophobic about me. No. If I'm homophobic, God must be homophobic. That's right. Because what I'm speaking against, God spoke against God it first. Against it first. Don't you know the apostle says, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. That's right. Then was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. That's Amen. Right. All right, son. Continue to hit the homosexual topic, my brother, and have hope because you're helping me by the grace of God. If I can just deliver one by the message. It's wonderful. Thank God and bring one to repentance. Amen. Even the angels rejoice over that one. That's right. All right. You're helping me by the grace of God to walk in the right way with my heavenly father. Yeah. This person says, lastly, bear me up in your prayers. God willing, we do that. Wonderful letter, isn't it? Wonderful. Amen. All right, son, come on. This letter says, just a cry for clarity. I'm curious, just for understanding where I am in my mind, I agree with you saying God is against divorce. Yes. But what does Matthew 19, verse 9 mean? That's a world-renowned world renowned. scripture. Yeah. Or, or 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 15 That's mean. another world-renowned scripture. They got two witnesses now. Uh -huh. Amen. Let's get Matthew 19, 9. Matthew chapter 19 and at verse 9. All right. And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication. Now listen at this. Mm -hmm. Because flesh lovers love the scripture. Yes, they do. And divorce 
putting away your wife or divorcing your wife mm -hmm. was designed for those that have a particular kind of heart. Peace in Matthew chapter 19 and verse 8. Let, I want to show you the verse above 9. Uh, and at verse 7. All right. They say unto him. They say to him. Why did Moses then? Oh, people love Moses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man, they take Jesus and sweep him under the rug. <laughs> That's oh, right. Oh. Yeah. That's right. Jesus come along tougher than Moses. Oh, yeah. You know, because in Moses' time, you can put together, build a divorce, and get rid of your wife, and amen, and <laughs> invest in another one. That's right. And Jesus come and shut that stuff down, mm. and people have been hollering ever since. Amen. Uh, yeah. Why did Moses then? Why did Moses then? Command to give a writing of divorcement and to put her away. Yeah. He says unto them. Jesus said to them. Moses, because of the hardness of your heart. The question was, why did Moses do it? Mm -hmm. And then Jesus gave the reason. Because of the hardness of your heart. Wait a minute. Who allowed it? Moses. No, God. Moses. No, God allowed it. Moses. Why did Moses? Moses do? let you do it, not God. That's right. God already had a law <laughs> that was right. established in the beginning. Right. And Jesus going to make reference to two laws. That's right. Wonderful. Sir. That's right. You didn't see that, did you? <laughs> Amen. And his teaching here, mm -hmm. he's going to make reference to two laws. That's right. One law that was before Moses, mm -hmm. and then another law that came after Moses, that came when Moses arrived. That's right. Listen. He said unto them, Moses, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart. Your stubborn heart, fleshy, loving heart. Suffered you to put away your wives. He tolerated it. Mm -hmm. He suffered it. Suffered it. Mm -hmm. He suffered That's you to right. put away your wife. But. That's what Moses allowed. Moses. But. But. From the beginning. Now Jesus is making a reference to the spirit. That's right. Because Moses wasn't in the beginning. That's right. From what? But from the beginning. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. Amen. Amen. So from the beginning. It was not so. God did never intend it for it to be. That's right. From the beginning. But Moses just suffered it. Mm -hmm. He just allowed it. Yeah. Because your heart was hard. Hardness of your heart. So every preacher that preached you can divorce, they are hard-hearted preachers. That's right. right. Stiff neck. That's uh, right. Flesh levels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I say unto you. And a boss is talking. Amen. Amen. I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, what? except it be for fornication. Now, there's more than one kind of wife in the Bible. That's right. More than one kind. <laughs> That's right. Wonderful. Oh, say, what other wife can it be than the one you're married? No. Oh, no. There's one that's called wife mm -hmm. before you married her. That's right. First chapter, Matthew. Matthew chapter 1, we're at verse 18. Listen. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. I want you to focus closely on the language of the book, mm -hmm. you divorce lovers. That's right. God hate putting away. Amen. Yes, it does. We'll show you that. Sure. God hate divorce. That's yes, right. All right. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. What happened? When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Wait a minute. What was the relationship between Mary and Joseph? Mary was espoused to Joseph. What is espoused, brothers and sisters? What is it? Oh, we doing all right then, huh? Amen. I just want to make sure that you follow me, just in case I got any of you here with more than one piece of meat. <laughs> That's right. That's you right. can curl up under that chicken all you want, but you know your turkey's still living. Amen. <laughs> You may as well go on back to your farmer's market. That's right. Ah. That's right. Come on, son. When as, his when as his mother Mary was when espoused. His mother Mary was engaged. To Joseph. To Joseph. Before they came together. Before they came together. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost had a child there in that body. Then Joseph, her husband. Wait a minute. Joseph was called what? Joseph, her husband. But what was their relationship? Mary was espoused to Joseph. But what was Joseph called? Joseph, her husband. And what was their relationship? Mary was espoused to Joseph. The man you are engaged to have the title husband. That's right. Now, read on. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. Now, he thought that she went out there and sweethearted, mm -hmm. committed fornication. That's right. <clears throat> And he wanted to get rid of her. He didn't want to publicize his personal business. Mm -hmm. So how did he want to do it? Put her away privately. They wasn't even married yet. That's right. 
They were expelled. That's right. All right. But while he thought on these things, while he was thinking about how to go about doing it, behold, the angel of the right. Lord appeared unto him in a dream. The angel come and turn up everything, saying, Joseph, Joseph, thou son of David, what? Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. Wait a minute. What was Mary called? Mary thy wife. But what was their relationship? Mary was espoused to Joseph. And what was Mary called? Mary thy wife. And what was their relationship? Mary was espoused to Joseph. So when you are engaged, mm -hmm. the woman is called wife. Right. And the man is called husband. That's right. You got the actual title. Amen. And that's all you got. That's all you Amen. got. That's all you got. I want to pause and let you take that in. <laughs> See no further. You just got the title. That's it. Amen. Amen. That's it. See no further. On the pause. Pause. <laughs> Amen. 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 Holy Ghost said it shall proceed no further. That's right. No further, sir. So when you got the title, mm -hmm. but yet you can't do what you want to do mm -hmm. until you obey magistrate. That's Amen. right. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Because when you got the title and engage, you're twine. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. You're not yet one flesh. That's, That's right. Amen. You're still twine. That's you're still right. Two. Still two. Still not one. Yeah. Wonderful. That's it. To become one, you got to marry. Right. Amen. And said for this cause, you got to marry. Yeah. That's why when you're not married and have sex, it's called fornication. Right. And then when you do get married and then go outside of your marriage, it's called adultery. Two different titles because you're in two different states. Wonderful. Right. Same accent. Same accent. Wonderful, man. Wonderful. Wonderful. Go ahead, brother. Same fleshy act. Yeah. But two different titles, right? Mm -hmm. Because now you are the two different headings. That's right. Wonderful. 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 What do you mean two different headings? Single, mm -hmm. fornicator, mm -hmm. married, adultery. Adultery. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I'm going to make it plain read. <laughs> Back in Matthew 19 and verse 9. Come on, sir. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, I know his wife, except it be for fornication, and marry another, committeth adultery. By the way, and whoso marrieth her, which is put away. Now, if a man going to put away his wife, and another man come along, mm -hmm. and see the woman that's put away, mm -hmm. and he married that woman who was put away by her husband, doeth commit adultery. In order for that man to commit adultery that married the woman that's put away, then that man himself, he got to be already married. That's, that's right. right. That's wonderful. That's right. All right, let's get Corinthians. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and at verse 15. There's some more to that letter, isn't it? Just a little bit. All right, come on. 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 15. But if the unbelieving depart. Ah. Amen. My God, they want a way out. <laughs> that's right. If the unbeliever. If the unbelieving depart, depart, let him depart. Let him leave. A brother or sister is not, is under, not bondage under bondage in such cases. Now, the word bondage is what you're looking at. Yeah. The Bible, yeah, here yeah now, justify separation. In 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 10. Let me say it again. Mm -hmm. The words of God justify separation. That's right. There's some people just can't live together, that's all. Right. Just can't. Mm -hmm. But if he moves overseas mm -hmm. in the hot climate, go live in Africa. <laughs> and she move all the way to Antarctica. Mm. Amen. She want to be an Eskimo. <laughs> Amen. She's bound in ice yeah. while he's bound in heat. That's right. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Wonderful. I don't care how far you go. How far you go. The only thing that disconnect the umbilical cord to marriage. Amen. Is death. It's death. Amen. That's right. It's God's law, sir. Wonderful. So when the Bible says, if you depart. You're not in bondage in such cases. such cases. That means you're not bound to live together. That's right. Yeah. Wonderful. Bible justifies separation. Let's read that. First, First Corinthians, Corinthians 7, 7 and 10. Verse 10. Follow me. And unto the married I command, yet not I but the Lord. What is it? Let not the wife depart from her husband. All right. This is what God recommends. Mm -hmm. His desire is that the wife don't leave her husband. Mm -hmm. But 
What? But, what? But, what? But, God is not stupid. <laughs> That's right. He knows. That's right. He knew everybody ain't going to stay together. No. But wait a minute, Pastor Dennis. If God said he, he, he's desired that a woman don't leave, that's just that. That's just that. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let me make another example. Make it he didn't want that no man perish. True. Right. Wonderful. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. That's right. That's right. Ain't that what he said? That's what he said. Wonderful. That's right. He said. <laughs> that's right. That's wonderful. He said he would no. that. No man perish, no man perish. Oh. but that all oh, to come to repentance. Mm -hmm. He knew they wouldn't. That's right. That's why hell is coming. Amen. That's right. Wonderful, pops. That's, That's why right. he's gonna put you in hell. Mm -hmm. Even though his desire is that you don't perish. Don't, don't perish. His desire that you do repent. Mm -hmm. But he knew everybody won't. No. So he made an alternative mm -hmm. for those that won't. He gonna send you to hell. That's right. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? wonderful. Amen. <laughs> All right, come on, son. And unto the married I command, yet not I but the Lord. What is it? Let not the wife depart from her husband. Don't let the wife leave. But. But. And if she depart. If she leave. Let her remain unmarried. She can't get married again. Or. Or. Be reconciled to her husband. Or. 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 Right. Reverse. Be reconciled. To her and husband. And when there's reconciliation, there's repentance. That's right. And it's not one-sided. No. no. Both got to repent in order for them to come back together. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. Well, Pastor Dennis, I don't want them. Then stay by yourself. Amen. Right. Let her remain unmarried. Hmm? Right. Can't marry nobody else. No. Pastor Dennis, I don't want her. All right. Stay by yourself. Go right. work on the farm. That's right. That's right. Go work all your pressure off. <laughs> God Lord, sir. God Lord, sir. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Amen. What else did the letter say? This person says, <laughs> this person says, please help me to understand. Oh, I'm going to help you. <laughs> because I was cheated on and confronted by his lover All and right. he left. Mm -hmm. Am I an adulterer for moving on? Now, you're not an adulterer for moving on. You only fall into adultery if you move on and then do what he done. That's right. right. Now, the man is the adulterer. That's right. Amen. The woman Adulteress. is the adulteress. That's right. Amen. Amen. I want to say what? All right. In the book, book of James, James, chapter 4, and at verse 4. Do you see all this? Wonderful. Amen. Glory to God. Come on. James, chapter 4, and verse 4. Yeah. Ye adulterers. That's the man. And. And. Adulteresses. That's the woman. That's right. That's so you, you don't be. Like him, no. Jesus said, do not after their works. That's right. Man. So, you're not bound to stay under the same roof. Mm -hmm. But if you separate, you can't get married again until not. your wicked husband dies. <laughs> That's it. Or your wicked wife. That's right. Somebody got to die. Somebody got to die. And it got to be one of the other, mm -hmm. and neither one can help the other meet death. That's Amen. right. <laughs> Amen. 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 Well, what about if she cheat? Mm -hmm. Then repent. Repent. Be reconciled. I don't say what is that, Pastor Dennis? Mm -hmm. Israel cheated. Yeah. Oh yes. Sir. Oh yeah. Yes, they did. Sir. In the Old Testament, they cheated, and God divorced her. Divorced her. That's In right. In the Old Testament. That's right. Then God come back and say, I'm married to the, the backslider. Back Meaning I'm obligated to bring you back to me. That's, That's right. right. Wonderful, that's wonderful. You know, many of you write, you write, cheat, 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 cheat. Uh, it's sad that that's happened. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you don't want it to happen. Yeah. But where will forgiveness coming at? That's right. That's right. Oh, I can forgive everything but that. Then you love the devil. Love the devil. Right. Because if they repent and you don't forgive them, they got a chance to be saved, and you will go to hell. That's right. right. Amen. Wonderful. You see, you see the predicament you put yourself in. Amen. Yeah. Wonderful, sir. He or she can repent, mm -hmm. and you refuse to accept the repentance. Mm -hmm. Now they got their life straightened out, yeah. and you still holding what they done over their head, uh -huh. and you die that way. Now you go to hell. Forgive right. thy neighbor. Hurt. Amen. Makes sense. Yeah, man. 
Amen. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 28 and verse 2. Amen. Forgive thy neighbor. The Holy Ghost is talking here. Amen. That's right. Forgive Amen. thy neighbor. Good chapter verse again. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 28 and verse 2. Listen. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he hath done unto thee. He cheated on you. Yeah. She cheated on you. Yeah. There's scripture to address your pain. That's right. Forgive thy neighbor. The no, hurt. talk about it. Forgive thy neighbor. Go on internet and slander them. Forgive oh, thy neighbor. Go tweet about them. Forgive thy neighbor. Go text about them. Forgive Amen. thy neighbor. Go spread a rumor about around the church. Forgive Amen. thy neighbor. Go talk about their family. Forgive Amen. thy neighbor. What? Forgive Amen. thy neighbor. Amen. Amen. That's right. Now, who should I look at? Right. The way you feel or what God said. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Forgive thy neighbor. Mm. Now, let's evaluate cheating. Mm. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Take your time. More than one way, sir. Because many of us look at it one way. One way. One way, sir. You narrow cheating down to just physically going with somebody. Right. Right. It's bigger than that. Oh, Amen. yeah. Jesus said, Ye have heard if chapter verse, in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 5, and at verse 27. Get Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time. Thou Jesus shalt, said, You heard mm -hmm. that it was said of them of old time. Thou shalt thou not, commit, shalt adultery, not commit adultery. But I say unto you, Jesus come along. You see, He always making things tighter. <laughs> That's right. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. He really wonderful. Have you noticed when he makes things tighter, yes. his statements is, uh, I say unto you. I say. That lets you know something about to happen. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. That's right. Lay in law, sir. Lay in law. Wonderful. I say. Unto you. Unto you. That whosoever looketh on a woman. However, just look. Mm. Just look. Just look. On a woman. Just look. No. Touch her. Look. Looketh. Go out on a date. Look it. Do dinner. Look it. Look. Amen. Amen. Lust after. Amen. Look at lust. Whosoever looketh. Amen. Honor in the corner. Honor in the That's right, sir. Amen. Amen. Yeah, the Lord's being read. Wonderful, sir. Go ahead, brother. You see, God's mind is deeper than ours. Oh, so yeah. You're now cheating down to just some physical involvement. Oh, how narrow your kernel mind may be. That's, That's right. Sir. Wonderful. Now it's a form of cheating, mm -hmm. and God is dealing with it from a spiritual perspective. Yeah. Without two bodies ever touching. That's right. true. Amen. That's true. Which lets you know that God's perspective yes, and your perspective differs. Oh yeah. Because He looked at sin higher and in more deeper detail than we ever can. That's Amen. right. Amen. Wonderful, so wonderful. Listen. But I say unto you. That whosoever looketh on a woman. All right, let me say this. Mm -hmm. You men, your wife may have cheated, or you women. Mm -hmm. Your husband may have cheated. You argued to cussed each other out. Yeah. You threw dishes and rags and hot towels and oatmeal <laughs> and bacon grease and fat packs. <laughs> old pork chops and everything. And, amen. And man, you burst glasses up and all that stuff. Yeah, because man. she physically went with somebody, or he physically went with somebody. Right. And you said, I never cheated on you. Yeah. Never. Never. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Hallelujah. So Are you sure? Are you sure? That's right. Hallelujah. Let's look at what Jesus said. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her. What happened? Has committed adultery. How quick? Already. How quick? Already. Don't Where? In his heart. Don't worry. And let me know adultery can be committed without you ever touching a person. That's right. right. Amen. Amen. In his heart. So when you say you never cheated, mm. how and in what way, what way are you talking? That's Amen. right. Wonderful. 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 That's true. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you say you never cheated? Man. <laughs> Jesus said, 
whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her. Every man you looked at since you've been married, have your thoughts been pure? Pure. Have your thoughts been clean? Uh, wonderful, sir. Wonderful. It's a rough teacher. Wonderful. It's a rough teacher. Great, sir. It's God's law. Every woman you looked at Man. since you've been married, yeah. have your thoughts been clean? Man. Have your thoughts been pure? Man. And if the answer is no, then shut your mouth. That's right. That's right. Man. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. You can't ridicule the one who you're angry with for the physical involvement right. where you have a spiritual involvement. That's right. That's right. Amen. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. The little leaven does what? Leaven the whole lot. A lot of folk don't know the Bible talk about this. No. Jesus, give chapter verse again. Matthew chapter 5, up at verse 28. Give chapter verse again. Matthew chapter 5, we're at verse 28. Give chapter verse again. Matthew chapter 5, and at verse 28. And what did Jesus say? But I say unto you. The boss is talking. That's right. I say to you. Whosoever looketh on a woman. To lust after her. Whoever look on a woman to lust after her. Has committed adultery. How quick? Already. Where? In his heart. That's right, sir. In his heart. Notice how quick it can be done. That's what the Spirit says. Already. 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 That means this. Even after you say, I do. I, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and you turn. You turn. To walk up the aisle. <laughs> that's right. And yet there's a sister that walked in the aisle to leave before you. Yeah. <laughs> Look it. That's right. Amen. And you saw from the back. And yet you got your new bride by the hand. That's right. And you're like. <laughs> How quick? Already. Already, sir. Amen. You may laugh, but that's the way it is. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. committed adultery with her already. You just. Said I do. Just, just said I do. Just said it, sir. Just said it. Just said it. And here's a sister, a woman you don't know. That's right. Just got in the aisle so she can leave. <laughs> and you're turning, walking up the aisle. Amen. And you notice her from the back. From the back. <laughs> That's right. Am I right? Go ahead. Man. Already, sir. I want to make it a raw so you don't walk here pretending like you're ignorant. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Right, sir. Wonderful. Right. Walking out with your new bride by the hand. By the hand. And when you saw her from the back. That's right. And you said to yourself, oh my goodness, look at here. <laughs> Has committed adultery with her. Already, sir. I, I, I wonder. Yeah. Already, sir. Already. Ah, That's right. Already, sir. What happened? Has committed adultery with her. Already in his heart. Why Already. do now the question is this? Mm. How many times do you commit adultery a day? A day. One day, sir. One That's day. the question. Amen. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead, man. <laughs> All right, Pop. How many times? Uh -huh. Wonderful, sir. I hear other folk brag. I've been married for 30 years. I, okay, that's wonderful. That's okay. wonderful. On the midst of that 30 year time, how many times in a year yeah. you commit adultery? Yeah. That's right. How many? How many times? I'm faithful to him. What is your definition of faithful? Right. right sir. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Amen. I'm faithful to her. How do you define it? That's right. Amen. Go ahead, man. The Holy Ghost make it tighter, doesn't it? Yes, oh, sir. yeah. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. But I say unto now, you. Now, this gives you a better understanding why Jesus said, well, if your eye offend you, you plug it out. Plug, plug it right. out. That's right. <laughs> plug it out, sir. What if God preached about having a single eye? Single yeah. Eye. That means when you look at that woman, you don't have nothing rising up in your bosom. Yes. <laughs> That's right, sir. A sister should be able to shout and glorify God and the house of God and that brother ain't clapping so long <laughs> because he's excited about what he sees. Right. Amen. That's right. That's right, Paul. Amen. 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 Amen, I said. Amen. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Go ahead, brother. It is good. Wonderful. <laughs> Jesus 
does that. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman, if you look on her, to lust after her, to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. You see, when you're doing natural, it may take you a while to learn this person and then do something. Then do okay. something. And here's a person you don't even know. Right. Look how quick it could happen. And when does it hit? Already in his heart. In his Amen. heart. Amen. On the subway, on the bus, in your car, That's on right. a plane, at work. That's right. Already, sir. That's in school. Right. Mm -hmm. On television. On television. Uh, already, sir. Magazines. Amen. 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 Already in his heart. Already. So you're bound by the law as long as you live. Yeah. Mm. If you separate, you're justified by the law of the scriptures. That's yeah. right. But now you fall into another law when you separate. Right. right. If she depart, let her depart. Let her depart. And then she got to remain unmarried, and he got to remain unmarried or be reconciled. That's right. Yeah. And if she refused to tolerate that kind of fella, mm. then she can't marry again until he died. And she or he can't marry again until she died. Yeah. And as I said before, neither one can put their bid in. Amen. To speed up the process of death. Amen. You see the way God think? Amen. Yeah. It ain't like y'all thought, is it? Not like no. Ours, not like ours at all, sir. Hey, 